Howdy! Welcome back to Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. I gotta catch you guys up on some stuff. So first off, you may notice that I have some different demons in my party. Uh, yeah, that was part of the recruiting for off, like, off-screening with grinding. So I leveled up Kappa, I got Watchful on him, so now he's gonna progressively get experience throughout the game. Uh, I think this will take a long time, because it took forever to level up Kappa in the first place, so... I'm not exactly holding my breath on this being speedy. It'll probably take a couple of segments at best, so I guess we'll see, though. Anyway, uh, another really important thing to mention is that I have a shitload of money. You may be looking at my money counter and going, well, that's about the same, if not less, than what you had last time. What do you mean? Uh, I bought those two Magatama at the underpass of Ginza. Kamudo and, uh, where is it? Ankh. So this is Ankh in case anyone really deeply wanted to see it. You get Dia, Media, and I think Fast Retreat. None of those skills appeal to me right now. And here's Kamado. Kamado is not the Magatama I remember it being. Um, it's actually... Actually, I think I've already mentioned this, but yeah, you learn pretty good skills. I did end up learning Heat Wave because Heat Wave is just nice to have, I guess. I wanted some type of physical skill just to have it. Um, another thing you may have noticed is that when I learned Heat Wave, I got rid of Taunt. Uh, taunt fucking sucks. <laughs> uh, I, I, I never use it in my main game, and I, I haven't been using it now, so I figured, fuck it, I'll just get rid of it. Anyway, I have Anathema equipped. Uh, I'm planning on learning Mana Drain. I'm actually probably going to replace Heat Wave now that I've gotten it, because I tried Heat Wave. And with these stats, it just kind of sucks. <laughs> Unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, Mana Drain is extremely useful. So, that's the skill I'm going to be getting with Anathema. And, uh, anything else? Uh, I'm just trying to check. Uh, oh yeah, Naga learned Fog Breath, which I knew he could learn, but I was still somewhat surprised about. Uh, Fog Breath is just, that's the debuff of the game, I guess. And Mikami didn't get any experience because I had him taken out of the party for Kappa. Anyway, we're moving on now. Let's go to the Mantra Headquarters and see how badly they've been annihilated. And unfortunately, even though this place has been fucking devastated by, like, 9-11 in this game's universe, it's still not, like, <laughs> we've still got random encounters, unfortunately. And this is actually a pretty terrible way to start the segment, but whatever. It's, it's, it is what it is. Stop that right now. Uh... Yeah, I can't do anything. That sucks. I might actually restart. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, another thing I forgot to mention is that, um... This is gonna make me sound really, really, really bad. But, uh... So, you know I mentioned you could grind... Okay, I am definitely restarting. I I'll mention it when I get back. Okay, so with that travesty over, now I can actually tell you what I was gonna say. So, I grinded on lower level mobs for reasons that you will see. Look at all these chakra drops I have now, and revival beads. Yeah, so it took way longer. I also got life stones, but uh, yeah, it took a lot longer to grind up on lower level mobs, but I was able to multitask it easier, so I figured I'd do it. Because you get better drops from... Are you fucking joking? Go do it again. Oh my god, you're gonna... Okay, okay. Sorry. Uh... <clears throat> Yeah, so I grinded on lower level mobs, the ones at uh, Shibuya, because, like I said, they give better items, and I needed them, kind of. So that's what I did. It took way too long. I'm, I'm, I'm investing a lot of my own personal time into this Let's Play. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> oh well. I, I Believe it or not, I actually do have fun with this. Um, let's, let's kill this guy soon. And then shot... Cool. And then one more toxic cloud should do it. Alright, you're dead? Nice. So the plan for this segment is to mosey about the Mantra Headquarters and then do another boss fight and then start the Labyrinth of Amala. I'm not sure if I'll be able to fit all of that in the segment. Uh, you know, it, it'll be a fun way 
or a fun little experiment to see if I can, but I guess I'll I'll try my best. Pass with you. Yeah, unfortunately, as, as cool as Heat Wave is, it only really works when you have invested any points into strength. And I've only invested like two. <laughs> it's really a shame that I can't show off Heat Wave being better. Because when you when you have a decently good strength build, that thing just fucking just just kills anything. Uh, oh well. Yes, I will. That's why I'm here. So now we gotta go see Gozu Tenno. But first we gotta see Chiaki. I totally forgot that this was here. I should have remembered. Yes? You wanna play by the rules? What the fuck does that mean? Oh, I mean, okay, yeah, a little, but go on. And suddenly everything's white and we're in a classroom. Uh, um, what does that mean? What, 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 what are you saying, Chiaki? Is something up? I mean, I know you're not okay, because obviously who would be, but uh, something you should tell me going on here? Darwinian. Uh, no, I don't see your point. I'm not a Darwinist, sorry. Yeah, so, uh, Chiaki's gone a little off the deep end. Yeah. Is is anyone else starting to feel a little uncomfortable by Chiaki or is it just me? Anyway. <laughs> so that's uh that's gonna be a recurring theme in this game, Yasuga. Are you? Why are you waiting here to die then? We're gonna see a bit more cutscenes like that, but not immediately. We have at least two more of those to see. Potentially a third one, depending on how you look at it. But, uh, yeah, this game has multiple endings, and depending on what reason you side with, you can get a different ending. It's very neat. I love it. And you're not limited to just the reasons either, I should say up front. Okay, I need to go to this elevator first. I'm not even going to talk to that Oni because I just don't give a shit. Go to this one, and then I think the elevator is on the third floor. The one that goes up to Gozu Tenno. Yes, it is. I was right. Woohoo. It's not like I just did this segment, like, or three episodes ago. <laughs> I did this place like three seconds ago, and I'm already like, oh wow, can't believe I remembered that. Okay, I don't have Buffy on you, but I do on you, baby. Nice! 
cool. Moving onwards and upwards with our lives. Or 60, so I wonder how Gozu Tenno's handled this whole power being absorbed out of you thing. Wonder wonder how he's dealing with that. And also you get to see this lovely effect of all the Magatsuchi being drained out of the mantra headquarters. It's very ominous. And don't you do that. Stop that. Stop that right now. Okay, I should probably heal, but I won't until I get a red. Sick, we made it. Well, we sense the same strong power, so I guess Gozi Tenno's alive, right? And I guess if a statue could be alive. I mean, I was there. I was there when it happened, when they launched the nightmare system. They sure are. Kind of sucks for them. Don't know why it's not affecting us, but nor am I... I, I don't care, I'm not complaining. Oh, can you? I mean, I only feel so bad. I mean, neither am I. I won't let them fucking do it. I don't know if I agree with that reasoning. I mean, it's like, you got the right answer, but with the wrong reason. <laughs> reason. Huh? Are you okay? Oh, no. Well, those Tenno. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. We hardly knew you. And even though that mannequin got crushed, we don't see any sort of stain on his head. So, whatever. I guess that's just how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, uh, I'm so funny. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go hang myself. Anyway. So, yes. Are you gonna tell me that Isamu left? Has it now. Okay. Yes, I did. Cool. So Osamu hasn't left yet, we can still catch up to him. And cool Thor is still alive, we may see him in the future. Hint, we're not gonna see him for a very long time. By that I mean, like, the end of the game. Oh shit, I forgot to heal. Oh god. Oh god! Oh no, that's bad. Well, fortunately I don't think this thing can kill me. Knock on fucking wood. Good. <laughs> That would have been very embarrassing. Oh man, that would have been a nightmare. A nightmare, so, okay, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna. I didn't want to heal because I'm gonna be jumping off the roof. Again. Yeah, I'm sure, dude, I'm very positive. Yeah, 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 come on now. Alrighty, now let's heal with Mikami, because Mikami is just the designated healer of this playthrough. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna enter. So, I don't remember if you actually have to check on Isamu, but I feel like you do, so I'm gonna do that just to be safe.
Because I remember, for whatever reason, I, I always have difficulty going the right... Like, okay, so you actually have to go out the, the right exit, but if you remember, those guards were there. I always remember having difficulty getting them to leave for some reason, so I assume it's because I usually forget to check on Isamu, because I fucking hate Isamu. So, I'm gonna do that to be safe. That's the elevator. Hey, Full Kagatsuchi, let's see if we can recruit something. Pyrojack? Hell yeah, I wanna recruit Pyrojack. Uh, I didn't mention it, but I did recruit a lot of demons that I... Uh, off screen. When I was off screening, I ended up recruiting a lot of demons that I had here two fourth not recruited on screen or shown on screen. Pyrojack was one of them, and he was extremely useful. So I want to recruit him again because he can fuse into very many good things. Uh, problem is, I don't know how I'm going to deal with the Oni before I deal with the other Pyrojack. I guess it just by fucking around. Actually, no, I lied. I'm going to kill Pyrojack because I haven't gotten an Oni yet. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do. Uh, yeah, whatever. This. Okay. Well, you didn't crit, and that's how I win in the end. Come on, Oni. Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh no, I wanted you to join. Oh well. And it's already 16 minutes into this fucking segment. God, time just flies when you're having fun. Hey, it's Asamu. Thanks for your lovely... I don't know what to say there. It's just like, oh, you couldn't do it? Gosh. I mean, I'm just having a cool time. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, did he? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, good for you, dude. Cool. So now those guards should be gone and we can move on with our lives. I'm probably not going to get the time to start First Kalpa in this segment, unfortunately. as much I was actually looking forward to it, to be honest, but whatever. I always underestimate how long things are going to take in this game. I have to keep clearing my throat and I have to mute my mic to do that. For whatever reason, my throat just doesn't like me today. As if it ever likes me, really. But you know. So I'm going to go back and heal real quickly, and then we will go out that far the way. So I'm going to off-screen that right now. Alrighty, went back and healed, and I just saved there. Uh, one thing I want to mention is that I equipped Hifumi again. Uh, not because there's any particular skill I want to learn with uh, Hifumi, but mostly because we have a boss fight coming up, believe it or not. And what do you have to say? Yeah, he did, I noticed. So we're going to Kabuhicho, but first we've got a boss fight to do. Uh, well, it's not mandatory, it's another Candelabrum fight. And this guy has... Yeah, I know, I know. I, I was talking about that. But, uh... Yes, I do. A ghost riding a motorcycle. Sounds funky. Anyway, our next boss fight is going to be... A guy who can use force skills, and because I'm draining fire on two people, I want to be able to drain, well, like, I want to be able to null uh, force on one character that I have as well, so I picked myself. There's a problem with that. Uh, we're going to be weak to fire, and this guy also has a multi er, uh, party attack for fire. I don't want to talk about this guy. bit shorter than I remember it being, but hey, anything works. So yeah, this guy is Hellbiker, and I, I remember him being pretty easy, but... <laughs> oh my god! 
That was perfect. <laughs> that was perfect. Okay, okay, okay. I'll off screen back to that part. Let's see if I don't die again. Okay, let's see if we die again. Come on, come on. Kill me again, I dare you. Okay. Still not great, but hey, we survived. So, I'm gonna start out by saying this guy does have Dekaja, I know that. Uh, the problem is, I'm not entirely sure if he's also gonna use Dekunda. I don't think any boss can have Dekaja and Dekunda. Or at least we'll use both, so... Okay. For sure, I want to make sure that he's not doing too much damage. That's... So, Warcry. And then, let's use Fog Breath one more time. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be investing too much on Rocky Kajas on our team because of Dekaja. I'm just going to have to hope he misses a lot. Nice. That's what I like to see, baby. So this guy doesn't have any weaknesses, unfortunately. But, he's also just... <laughs> I said that earlier, but I swear he's not actually that bad. Uh, he... Really, the worst thing you have to worry about is that move that's, uh, he, he doesn't even technically have Dekaja. He has a move called, like, I'm trying to remember what it's called. It's it's a Force-type skill that hits everyone that also debuffs. So that's really what you have to watch out for. Anyway, uh, another Warcry. Yeah, it's, it, it's Hell and Class, that's what it is. And it missed everyone, cool. So anyway... Kuda again, and now I'm just gonna start attacking. Oh, that's a lot of damage, holy moly. Uh, do I need Dementia? I don't think I do. That's Rakunda, so that's three Rakundas, and then this should be the last one. That's Rakunda, okay. So now I just need to play it safe. Hell Exhaust is not a big deal because of that, so... Now that we can not have to worry about him attacking multiple times when he uses that attack, uh, this should be a pretty decently easy fight. Like I mentioned earlier, he does have an Augie skill that also hits everyone. Uh, I'm not looking forward to when he starts using it, but otherwise I shouldn't be in too much of danger. Too much of danger is a good way to phrase it, or whatever. Uh... Oh, he does have Dakunda? Oh no! That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> I kind of needed him to not have Dakunda, actually. Uh, well, I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to keep debuffing him with Fog Breath anyway, because I like when he doesn't hit me. It's nice. <laughs> uh, Fog Breath. So maybe this fight is a little bit trickier than I gave it credit for being. Maybe, possibly, just maybe. Hell Exhaust again, don't care. Drama on Deese. Um, and pass. And Media. I'm debating if I want to use any chakra drops right now. Uh, I'm gonna say no. I am, however, going to do this. Because I want to be doing a bit more damage to him. Nice. Uh, this should be the last Raccoon Day, I think. Cool. Cool stuff. Medea to be safe. And now... Yeah, let's just attack. I don't remember this guy having too much HP, so that shouldn't be a big issue, I hope. Uh, attack. You just gotta get into a good rhythm with it, really. I'm gonna use a Chakra Drop on Mikami, just in case he uses the Kuda again, because I want to have Fog Breaths up on him. Okay, Health Rattle. That's bad. Now he has Press Turns again. That's bad. Yeah, so I trade taking damage from fire for that. Because now he lost all his pressure together. 
It's kind of risky, but I think it works out. Uh, what else? Attack. I probably should have gained the system and done this fight when Kagetsuchi was full so I could use Bright Might. Eh. And then... It would be nice if I had Monitrain for this fight, actually, but oh well. Stop doing that, sir. I don't like it when you use that. Nice. Nice. That's actually still kind of bad, though, because uh, Mikami's close to death. So am I, actually, but whatever. I'm gonna be safe here and do dioramas instead. Just to make sure that I'm getting the most amount of my bang for my buck. Ah, shit. Don't use health throw. Don't use health throw. Okay. That's bad, but whatever. Uh, shit. I don't know what I want to do here. Um, that's actually extremely bad. I need to heal. That's a priority, honestly. Yeah, I, I absolutely need to heal. I can worry about fog rest later. That's unfortunately what it's coming down to. I have to pick my battles on that one. Not sure what I want to do with these here. I guess I'll heal Naga. Uh, I'm, I'm not feeling great about this fight all of a sudden. Whatever. I need at least one Fogra. Because I need this guy to be missing. He's going to be using Health Bottle. Uh, I knew he would. I knew he would. Nice. Okay. Okay, I can live with that. I still need to get MP up on my other people, but that's good for now. I'm just gonna use Secunda and call that a Fog Breath and just, you know, that's really all I can do. Attack. Uh, I just realized I need to heal. What am I doing? Shit. I was not the well, I didn't have any MP to heal, I guess. Um. This is kind of bad, actually. This is kind of bad. Okay, I gotta heal myself. Yeah, this is extremely bad. Okay, I just... That's extremely bad. Fuck, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead. Yeah, Mikami's gone, I'm dead. I just have to hope that this kills. Uh, yeah, I just got rushes. That sucks. That really sucks. Okay. God damn it, I didn't want to have to do that fight over. Off screening. Okay, back to this fight. Uh, as you can see, I decided to be an asshole and I got full Kagatuchi. So now I'm going to see if Bright Might helps at all in this fight. Thanks for wasting your press turns. So... I don't want to use Rakuta just yet. I guess I'll use... No, I'll use Fog Breath. What am I saying? <laughs> I was about to be like, well, I guess I'll use Tower Kaj. I'm like, no, that's a fucking waste. Always use Fog Breath there. Fog Breath. And then... I'm not going to War Cry him because he does get rid of his debuffs and War Cry is just so much MP. I want to be able to consistently, like, I want to have someone I can fog grab with. So, yeah. Um, I will raccoon him. I think about it, but I decided it's worth it. And then I guess, yeah, I'll just attack. I'm just thinking, like, I'm trying to be methodical about this because I know he gets through the buffs so quickly that I don't want to end up wasting turns. Diorama uh, on Deese. I'll use another Rakunda. I don't want to push my luck, but 
I do want to make sure I'm actually getting my debuffs up. Oh, of course. Well, it doesn't matter. So heal with Mikami, do fog breath with me and Naga. Yeah, this Brightmite's actually really helping because I'm getting consistent damage on this dude now. This is like a sleeper hit of the year for this party. Just, just completely and utterly fucking useful. Okay. I guess I won't waste time with Yakuza because eh. I, I think I will do another media with Mikami, just to be safe. Media probably was a waste, but I don't care. I'm gonna do a chakra drop on me because I don't have enough for two fog breaths. I'll probably use a chakra drop on Naga next turn to make sure he can get two fog breaths as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I really underestimated this fight. That's weird. Dodge. No burner, don't care. Attack. Uh, yeah, Tarukaja. No, what am I doing? No. Uh, attack. attack. I was thinking about it, I was like, yeah, maybe I should Tarukaja. Anytime I want a Tarukaja, I should just immediately yell at myself. Because that's such a dumb idea. Uh, I forgot to do Fog Breath. I should do that again. Oh, what the fuck? Did he not use Dekunda? Whoops, my memory owns. Oh, uh, uh, that's... That sucks. <laughs> oh, that really sucks now. Uh, whatever. Is he going to use Dekunda now? Nope. Okay. I wish my memory hadn't fucked me over there, but whatever. Uh, Media again. Okay, this time let's use Tracker Drop on Naga. How did you hit? How did you hit, sir? Um, yeah, I don't know why I thought about that. Uh, Diorama on... I'm gonna use a beat on me on Dees just to be safe. I absolutely need her living. She's like the linchpin of this strategy right now. Okay, so so far this is going a lot better than last time. I've done a lot better MP management, I'll say that. And nice, everyone dodged. Cool. I think I can afford to use a Tarukaja here. Cool, cool. I don't know why that first attempt went so terribly. Kinda sucks I got a level up with Hifumi and not with Anathema, so... I can't get Mana Drain just yet, but it's whatever. It, Hifumi was worth it just for getting rid of his press turns. Absolutely was worth it. Okay, anti force, don't care. Sorry, Hifumi. Thanks, Hifumi. <laughs> That's because you're mad that I didn't uh that I didn't get your thing. Oh, Dees is gonna evolve! Sick! That's fucking cool. Okay. Uh I don't even necessarily want Maypatra. But I kinda do, but I kinda don't. Oh man, this is tough. I don't know if I want Maypatra. Uh, I can't decide. I'm going to say... I'm going to say no on Maypatra. I don't see those skills enough for it to be a point, but... Yes, talk to me. Thank you. And now she's evolving. Oh, Deese, you evolved in the perfect fight. The one where you were the most useful. And now we're getting... Valkyrie! Nice! Hell yeah. 
Unfortunately, Valkyrie's stats do shift a bit from Deese's. I could have sworn Deese had more magic than that, but it's whatever. She has hell of a lot more vitality now. And Mikami leveled up. Mikami I just can't get rid of. He's too useful. I didn't think I'd be holding on to Mikami this long. <laughs> okay, so now before I forget, I should use Deese stun. I said Deese stun. Go me. Uh, I want to check one thing. What are the skills you're learning? Guillotine, huh? Interesting. I don't remember that being particularly useful, but it's whatever. Uh, okay, now what? Oh yeah, I'm going to Kabukicho. I used a Repulse spell to get up to full Kagetsuchi. I actually noticed something. It looks like when you're in the overworld, the moon phases go a lot quicker. Like, you can already tell. Just going through that little area, we're already at 3 out of 8, so... That's, that's interesting. Uh... What's over here? Okay. Uh, do I need to heal? No. Okay. Serves as well. Uh, I have Liftoma, right? I do. So Liftoma makes it so you don't... I was about to say you don't take damage from those things, but whatever. Uh, let's just... Let's kill an Archangel, fuck it. Cool. I'm gonna see if I can recruit Archangel since it's, uh, new Kagetsuchi. Sure. 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 Um... No. Cool. Cool, that worked out well. And we're not taking damage. Oh baby. Liftoma and Lightoma are gonna be very useful in the coming dungeons, I'll tell you that right now. Uh Stone Gate is nice. Oh you Okay, you're weak to death and curse, but whatever. Okay, Toxic Cloud then. Okay, you're not weak to curse? Okay, whatever. That's cool too. Whatever. Just don't use Hama on me, that's all I want. Famous last words, I think. <laughs> oh no! Okay, 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 okay. That would have been really funny and terrible at the same time, so. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's move onwards. I think there's a treasure chest somewhere over here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, it's down here. Over here. Uh, oh no, this is Kabukicho. Treasure chest was up there. Whoopsie doopsie. That's my mistake. Hi, Vampire Weekend. I didn't even like that album. That album really fucking sucked, to be honest. Man. I don't want to risk having to deal with Hama, but I'll just I'll have to take the chance. Okay. I don't know why you're picking on Makami specifically, but don't do that. I I'm gonna save at Kabukicho, actually, just be safe, because I just realized that I should be saving. Kabukicho is like one of my favorite dungeons in this game, by the way. It's a shame we're not gonna start it for a little bit, because I'm not doing it until, like, a segment or two after this. Okay, let's save and then I'll get the treasure chest on the overworld and then I will call it. That's weird. I didn't think Deese was gonna evolve so quickly. It feels like I just got her. <laughs> I guess I kind of just did, but whatever. Deese rules. I don't know why I've never used Deese before. No weaknesses, and, uh... Oh, that reminds me. I should check what Valkyrie's resistances are. I spaced on doing that. Uh, drain fire still and no expel. Cool. That's nice. I like that. I like your laugh. <laughs> I know for a fact I made that reference earlier in this level. <laughs> it's such a good joke. Uh, sure. I like to watch. Cool. Oh, okay. Thanks, I guess. No, not Sakundo. Dio. Cool. 
cool stuff. Naga is not about to evolve, but will eventually evolve soon. Again? Why? Sure. Okay. Yes, I am. And that's homophobic, cat bad catfla. Bad b Whatever. It's gonna be bad if this guy seduces another guy. It's 2019, my dude. Break the fuck up. Okay. Slowly but surely we will get that treasure chest. Emphasis on slowly. Uh, I'm gonna try Stone Gaze again. Yeah! <laughs> we got him! Uh, let's do this. Since I don't have to worry about that guy. Anymore. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Man, Stone Gaze rules. I can't believe I... I just... I'm in love with Valkyrie. <laughs> Levitation, let's reapply that with Chironzen. Stoma. What is this? What is it? And Soma Droplet. That was worth it. What do you have to say? Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm ahead of the curve. I already have Liftoma. I actually got Liftoma from, uh, long story short, I fused a bad Katha on, into an Eros, and then I got an Eros to make a Tronson, which is kind of a weird way of explaining it, but it makes perfect sense. Uh, no, don't attack, don't attack, don't attack. Okay, good. You didn't attack! <laughs> oh man, you, you guys actually listen to me. I love it. Son of a bitch. That sucks. That really sucks, actually. Um, I'm gonna be super safe here. Let's use Tornado, because this is a good time to use it. Okay, cool. Don't do that. Well, actually, you're on... Yeah, never mind. Do that. Keep doing that, please. <laughs> okay, Stone Gaze again, baby. I love Stone Gaze, but why do you keep missing? Why do you keep missing? Cool. It is strongly implied that I am going to off screen and then get that Soma Droplet again. Okay, I have made it back to Kabukicho without dying and, I, and I'm very happy. So now, I'm going to make a pit stop at Shibuya just to heal and... See what I can fuse that Archangel into. Probably nothing interesting, but it's worth checking, if nothing else. Uh, before I forget to, by the way, I should uh, equip Anathema again. It was good not to have Anathema equipped, because it's weak to expel, and those Angels and Archangels would have uh, almost guaranteed killed me, but either way. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have a ton of money, and I love it. Oh, man, I can't remember what it was like to be broke. <laughs> okay. I forgot to mention this, but I bu I mentioned in, I think it was last segment, that I bought a bunch of dis, like, status ailment things. And it turns out the Shibuya shop actually sells dismutes, which are the ones I really wanted. So I ended up buying those off screen. And holy shit, I am fusing this. Uh, I don't have words to say how good this would be. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm just like... Mikami, your days are numbered. Oh no, now I'm gonna have to fuse this. <laughs> that kind of sucks, actually, because I don't want to have to. Why am I not just recording all of them at once, but whatever. Yeah, I absolutely want uh, Sarasvati, because Sarasvati's really good. Uh, I guess that'll be the last thing I do in this segment, which... Again, I kind of wish I didn't have to, because it's a pain in the ass to fuse, but... Eh. Okay, um... I'm probably going to off-screen, and I'll probably do a sacrifice fusion, I'll explain what that is when I get the right sacrifices set up. Like the... I'll just show you in a second. Okay, so we have got the Sarasvati we want. So how f sacrifice fusion works is that, uh, first of all, the music's different. 
But uh, what it does is that you can pick a normal fusion you want. So in this case, I'm doing Mikami and Archangel. So that's obviously going to make Saraswati. And then we can pick a third demon to involve in that fusion, which is a sacrifice. Here I am sacrificing Kappa, and you may be wondering, wait, why are you doing that? Well, because that gives us a fourth skill slot for Saraswati to learn from. She can also learn any skills from uh, Kappa, but unfortunately I don't want Tarukaja or Watchful and Wing Buffet. I don't even think she can learn because she doesn't have wings, so... Uh, either way, this is the Sarasvati we're going with. Uh, I looked at Sarasvati's skills, and honestly, they're not amazing, but I just think it's time we replace Mikami, because he keeps dying, and I also am just really looking forward to Mana Refill, and I've... The only skill that I really wish I could take with me at this point would be Fog Breath, but unfortunately, uh, I don't know if, uh, what's-her-name Sarasvati wasn't learning it, or if it just was really rare, but it wasn't coming up, so I'm not holding my breath on that. Uh, I would keep Bufu, but it's honestly kind of weak. Uh, there's almost no point in even taking Augie or Bufu, because both uh, Valkyrie and Naga just do it better. But either way, uh, this is the Star's body we're going with. No, I want that. Shut up. <laughs> Fortunately, it didn't take that long to get this Star's body skill build, so... Eh. I am mostly fusing her just because I want a dedicated healer that's got like a build that'll uh, complement it. She also learns Recarm in a level, so that's one less skill I have to worry about getting on her. So now while I'm thinking about it, let's get Kappa back. It's going to hurt my wallet a bit, but why even have that money if you don't use it? And I guess just for good measure, let's see if we can fuse anything with Sarasvati. Not especially. I mean, I'm sure Horus and Troll are good, but I'm not giving up Valkyrie or Naga. And Zhao Chao, I'm just not... Nah. I'm sure Zhao Chao isn't bad, but I just don't want him. So yeah. Uh, anyway, let's go outside. I love Mikami, and I'm sad that we fused him out because he was such a... He was like such a party MVP as far as healing goes. But yeah, it was, it was getting to that point where we needed to fuse him out. So... Now we have Sarasvati, and I am going to end the segment here. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. And next time we are going to be tackling the ever-so-lovely Labyrinth of Amala. I am very excited to do that. I will see you then.